Yes, all of you! YouTube! It's PG, the piano man. And I'm in the house. I'm not in my sneaker room, but I am in the house. And today I have for you uh, what my top 10 pickups for the year 2017, what they are. And um, it was very difficult. I must say, it was very difficult, very challenging, but I had to set a parameter and that parameter was if it was something that was released prior to 2017 although I picked it up this year in 2017 I excluded it from uh, a possibility of being chosen so I excluded anything that I even though I picked it up this year that didn't release in 2017 and even with that it was still a challenge so uh, you're going to be surprised by some of the top 10 that I that I chose uh, because you're going to be like, he chose a bear chaser. <laughs> he chose a duck kicker and a squirrel killer over that shoe. Well, to me, certain sneakers had a lot of iconic um, and uh, value to it and just something that from back in the day that I really, really wish I had and I never had it. So some of the sneakers made it on the list for that reason. And I'll explain that to you when I get to it. I do have three honorable mentions that just didn't make my top ten. Not because they're not dope sneakers or, or classic sneakers or whatever the case may be. But they just didn't make my top ten. And I'll explain to you as I say why when I do show you what my top ten pickups were for the year 2017. Honorable, honorable mention number one it's going to be Booyah, the Alternate 8 1993 Alternate Hair. And I think this is a very dope, clean sneaker that released this year, but it just didn't make my top 10 pickups of the year. But I do think this was a very dope, clean pickup. Um, I really like this sneaker. I really like this sneaker. I'm sure I'm going to wear it at some point, but uh, at the moment, man. I haven't worn it, but I think this is a really nice, well-executed, put-together sneaker. Uh, honorable mention, another one, the Midnight Navy went like 82, did not make my top 10. Um, very nice, clean, very uh, dope colorway, but it just didn't make my top 10. And another sneaker that I think is really dope that I picked up this year, but it didn't make my top 10, was the Metallic Red Booyah. OG metallic red, very nice clean sneaker, and uh, I just had to pick some other stuff over it. And I did have a couple other sneakers that I could have brought up as uh, uh, honorable mentions, but I didn't. All right, booyah, honorable mention. All right, here it is, my top 10 uh, pickups, in my opinion, for the year 2017. First. A uh, sneaker that was released for the first time since 1998. It's sad, unfortunately, but it's an OG colorway. Booyah! They called it the uh, Brave Blue. It's the Air Jordan 13. Brave Blue, formerly known as the Midnight Navy. It has the metallic, metallic. It has the 3M um, upper, reflective upper. Um, very nice shoe, very well executed, very well put together. Um, first time it's released in almost 20 years and uh, it's sad because I guess a lot of people didn't know or don't, they, they don't know the um, iconic significance of this particular sneaker and here it is the Bray Blue the Air Jordan 13 Bray Blue it's number 10 number 9 I chose the Booyah the Royal One another iconic sneaker and it's been released, re-released, or uh, retro uh, several times, but it's still a very, very, this year right here, very, very clean sneaker. And I think it was a great pickup for me. Yes, it was. <laughs> I actually picked up three pair. <laughs> I ended up selling one pair to get a pair of sneakers that I wanted, and I ended up trading another pair to get another sneaker that I wanted, but I did keep one for myself. And there it is. OG High 
Air Jordan 1 Royal. This sneaker, um, yeah, I picked it over the Royal. Uh, I thought it was a very dope release for this year. A new, cla a new colorway of a classic silhouette. And that is Booyah, the Bordeaux 12. Very clean sneaker. I think it was well executed, very well put together in terms of the colorway and the materials. It's pretty decent on it. And it's a 12. That's a very nice colorway for a classic silhouette like the Jordan 12. And here it is for number 8, the Air Jordan 12 Bordeaux. My next sneaker that I chose, number 7, Booyah. Man, come on. The Dennis Rodman, the Nike Air Shake and Destruct, released 1996. This is the sneaker that uh, Dennis Rodman was wearing when the Bulls went 72 and 10, and they won, uh, their, the Bulls won their fourth championship with Michael Jordan, and it was the first of their second three-peat. But here it is. Booyah. Nice nice sneaker and uh, I really was like looking for this sneaker like man that would be dope if they released that Dennis Rotman shoe from back in the day and look at what happened it actually released and I actually copped it for retail because I had to have it man such a classic iconic sneaker from the historic um, time of, of a classic historic time in basketball history worn by a very unique and very very um, interesting to say the least player who contributed very um, intricately to a couple teams and winning championships. He won two with the Pistons and they're back to back and he won three with the Bulls with Jordan and Pippen and, and um, those guys and here it is. Number six, Booyah, the GH2, the Grand Hill 96. I wanted this sneaker back in the day when I was growing up. I never had it, and uh, when it released this year as a special, like I guess, collaborative effort with Walters. I don't know if you can see that on the inside right there, Walters and uh, Fila. I had to have it, man. Shout out to V's Kicks because when she showed the sneaker in her video, and I had been saying, man, I wish I had this sneaker, and I, I jumped right online and I copped it. And they were selling this sneaker online at Walters for $100. Come on, that was a must cop. The Grand Hill <laughs> Classic 1996, the GH2. Next sneaker is a new uh, colorway of a classic silhouette, the Jordan 1, and it is Booyah, the Air Jewel Jordan OG High. This is uh, also called an all-star one also called the chameleon one and very nice new colorway of the Jordan 1 silhouette very dope sneaker that released this year and man just the fact that I found it I actually walked into a house of hoops down in um, it was Troy no it was in Nova Michigan I walked into a house of hoops and they just happened to have somebody had just returned the sneaker and I was like, no way. Somebody returned the sneaker and I picked it up. It was the only one in the store. And man, I'm so glad I happened to just went down into that store at the time. My internal sneaker gut did her job on this one right here. So, number six, is this six? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Number five, it is um, the Air Jordan OG High. All-Star, All-Star 1. A sneaker that I did choose as number 4. It's also another classic silhouette, in my opinion, based on the history of the, of the game of basketball and the player that wore this sneaker the year 1984. He was the number one draft choice. This sneaker, in my opinion, is just as iconic and just as meaningful to the game of basketball as any Air Jordan 1 that released in the same time frame, and that is Booyah, the Etonic. The Akeem Olajuwon, the Akeem the Dream, the Olajuwon, Akeem the Dream, first signature sneaker. This sneaker right here is very classic, very iconic to the game of basketball 
And, you know, Michael Jordan said they can't win until we quit. But when he did retire that first time, and he spent a little bit of time away from the game of basketball, this guy right here stepped in and won back-to-back -back championships with the Houston Rockets. And he was a very, very, uh, he's a Hall of Famer, a very, very, um, was it, Akeem, uh, um, what was it, um, um, what's his name, um, the Diesel, Diesel, Big Diesel, Shaq Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal said that this guy was the, the guy that gave him the most trouble on the court. So here it is, the came up, the Dream Elijah Wine, number four. My top three, another classic, iconic silhouette, um, and had to have it, man. But here it is. Number three, Booyah, the Air Jordan 13, the Cherry, the Cherry Babies, the Cherry Girls, the Cherry Girls. Now, I know y'all thought these were duck kickers. I understand that duck kickers and squirrel killers is okay. But Booyah, I had to have it, man. This one right here is not a duck kicker, not a bear chaser, not a squirrel killer. And I had to have it. Look at that. Come on now. Come on. How could this shoe have sat? It sat. I should have I should have doubled up on that one. Number two, another OG classic silhouette. Had to have it, man. And I must say, this is my first time even uh, owning this sneaker. So here it is. Booyah, the Air Jordan 13. Come on now. Look at that reflective 3M upper. The Air Jordan 13, black and reds, aka the breads, baby. The breads. Come on now. Can't chase no bears in this either. Come on, look at that. Woo! Just a clean sneaker, man. Classic, iconic. Come on. It don't get no better than this, baby. This is one of my top pickups. Number two, the Air Jordan 13. The black and red, the bread. Number two. My number one choice uh, is not an OG um, colorway, nothing like that. Um, it is one of the last, not the last, but one of the last silhouettes that Jordan wore before he re finally retired for the final uh, final time. He wore this sneaker when he was playing with the Washington Wizards. And here it is. Booyah. The 17 Trophy Room, baby. I had to have it, man. I think this sneaker right here is awesome. This is my number one pickup, in my opinion, for the year of 2017. Look at that sneaker it is just beautiful it is gorgeous i had to have it man and i think this is one of my best pickups or my best pickup of the year 2017 hey thanks for watching it's been the piano guy make sure you uh subscribe subscribe to the channel i keep telling you it doesn't cost anything to do that it's free to subscribe and it will be a blessing to me uh to have you watching and uh if you subscribe, press that notification bell to notify you when I drop other content on the videos. Also, press that thumbs up button on this video. Let me know that you like it, all right? And also, if you can, drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about my top 10 pickups for the year 2017. I know you ain't going to be feeling some of them, and I did my best to explain to you why I chose those sneakers as my top 10 pickups. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at the underscore piano guy. And on Twitter at Sneaker Struggles at JMO Hollywood. So if you are enjoying and liking the content that the Piano Guy's bringing to you, YouTube, press that subscribe button for your boy, the Piano Guy. Deeply appreciate it. Thanks for watching. It's been PG, the Piano Guy. Until next time.